What were your thoughts on the younger guys this weekend? I thought uh, it was good taste for them in this league, and there's obviously a lot of room to grow for all of us, and we need to keep building as the season goes on. So, um, you know, by the, the score tonight, you can obviously tell that there's a lot of work to do, but I'm looking forward to it, and I think our team is as well. Well, I think we just weren't winning puck battles. Uh, a few guys on our team, that was uh, our first game, so. It's hard to get that compete level. Nothing uh, you can do over the summer can imitate what a real game's like. So just getting our minds, I thought, uh, I mean, for me personally, my body felt really good, but just getting my mind up to pace with the speed and the compete uh, was something that I just needed to continue to build at. What do you expect to get out of the next few days here before the season? Well, we'll get our whole group together. Obviously, there was guys still competing for spots in Buffalo, so we're finally starting to see those guys here. So once we get our group together, I think it'll be good to start building on uh, a lot of the concepts that we we uh, worked on last year. And obviously, it's a new group this year, so we'll start uh, building on all those little details that are going to help us become a good team and help the younger players become great hockey players. The you started, so I know, oh, I know yeah, what it was, but the Russo thing? Yeah. And that might go with that. No, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, obviously, there's an amendment error. Yeah, of course. I think there's uh, uh, a way things are handled in this game and uh, uh, that need to be handled. So, um, you know, it just wasn't for me personally. I think it was for our team and what we stand for as a team. So, yeah, I mean, I don't really want to dwell on it or talk about it too much because there's a lot of things that happen throughout a season, but it's not just that instance, it's uh, um, what we stand for a team throughout a whole season. Right. And I guess people like as well. I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 Seth mentioned that obviously Quinn had to go through, you know, games mm -hmm. like tough games like this at the start of last year. Yeah. How hard is it when you have so many young players all at once kind of learning this all at the same time when, you know, lessons yeah. yeah. Says, but games like tonight are tough yeah. for a lot of young guys. Of course. I think, uh, I mean, uh, the best way I can answer it is kind of looking back on my own experience in these types of games. It just seems like uh, the game's going a million miles per hour. And uh, once you get comfortable with the game and your opponents and your teammates, I think the game slows down for you. And, um, you know, it's just a matter of time once those guys continue to put in the work that they're going to see success. And, you know, one guy might be great another night, another guy might be great another guy, night. And uh, I think it's exciting. You know, they have, they have a lot of good skill and they have a lot of good, uh, um, they have good hockey minds. So it's just a matter of, you know, competing every night and finding that consistency like Quinter and uh, JJ did towards the end of the year that made them the players they are, and now obviously they're in Buffalo. Is this a good eye opener as well, just for guys to realize, wow. Oh, of course. Cool. Yeah, it is for me too. I mean, there's a, uh, I was telling you guys, it was uh, no, nothing you do over the summer can uh, imitate the competitiveness and the pace and the reads you need to make in a regular season. You know, you can play four and four scrimmage or work on your skill as much as you want, but um, it's tough to uh, imitate a lot of the reads you have to make in games. So um, we, just, we just gotta keep building. It's a long season and just take it. It's nothing to dwell on. I think it's uh, uh, a good um, checkpoint for us to see where we are and we, where we need to go. Towards the end of the second and uh, throughout the third, so you guys are able to get a bit more successes out on the ice. So, you know, yeah. tough game, but you know, yeah. is there anything positive that you know you take away from this as a group? You know, yeah, I think, yeah, I think uh, um, as the game wore on, I think we got into it a little bit more, like you said, and uh, it's just kind of a like I said, a reality check on where we're you know each individual's games at and where we need to be to be successful. Excuse me. So um, definitely for myself too.